also we want to say happy new month for you we welcome the month of uh, november amen a few a few more weeks and uh, we'll be giving thanks thanksgiving amen so praise god pastors will say patricia we want to welcome you to new beginnings church a church you can call home a church where we honor god love families we uh serve others pursue excellence and we have a passion for god and a passion for souls amen yeah, yeah. Woo, hallelujah welcome my nbc family visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio and video amen all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive what god has for you amen so quit thinking about who's playing football today or quit thinking about man what am i going to do uh tomorrow tomorrow is monday and man i got all kinds of plans you know i've got all kinds of work waiting for me Right now is God's time, you know, when you, when you spend time with him, honor his time and quit thinking, what do I have to do? You know, he says, cast all these things on me because I care for you. So when it's his time, give him his time. Yes. Amen. Yes. Honor Amen. him and say, thank you. If you don't know what else to say, well, I won't ever have anything to say. Yes, you do. You come and unload. I want, I need, I need, I want, I want, I want, I want. And then you run off. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's not a, just there for that. You know, he's there. You to honor him and give him thanks for yeah, yeah. all the things he's done for you. Amen. And then on top of that, he says, cast it all on me. Amen. All these things coming against yeah. you, cast it on me. Man, we got a great message for you today. All you need to do is get your mind set, shut your mind. I know it's going 100 miles an hour, but still just. Prepare yourself to receive what God has for you. Amen. We're going to be talking about victory in Jesus daily. Man, that's a great song. You know, I just want to say thank you to your praise team, you know, because, man, they brought some awesome songs, you know. And victory is mine. That's one of them. And I'm going to be reading that to you in a few minutes. But uh, let's prepare to receive what God has for us. You know, he's not finished with you yet. So don't just... Uh, Say, well, you know, <laughs> this is it. No, he's not finished with you. He has great plans for you, and none of them include defeat. So, man, he wants to use you mightily, regardless of what, who's told you what. Yeah. God yeah. wants to use you. Amen. You know, we see ourselves small. We see ourselves like not good enough, not qualified. But every part, every one of you he's called. He's put here to be winners and not losers. Amen. Woo. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Let's grab you. Your sword, mighty soldier of God, and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking about it, God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Man, you got to remember that. Praise God. Yes, you got to renew your mind. What he says, we got to renew our yes. minds to the things of God. Yes. You hear so many negative things, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. and you know, you we just got to you just got to renew your mind to the thing to the Word of God. Yes. Amen. So, praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let me see. I've got a few things I want to read at you. Uh, I had a handout for the uh, church here today, and. Uh, is victory in Jesus scriptures, extra scriptures that you can go in the word of God and find, you know, and yeah. study them and know that you can have victory in Jesus daily. Yeah. Not just once in a while, you know, but uh -huh. we got to stay in the word and we got to speak the word and we got to live the word. Amen. Yeah, right. and we got to watch our words. We got to watch our actions. Yeah. Amen. We got to watch our walk. Amen. So again, be strong in him. I've got a little quote that I have here. It says, victory in Jesus. Don't sweat the situations, the circumstances, the problems that come your way. Why? They are no match to your God. Right. Amen. Our God is bigger. And we've been, I've been trying to get that in you. You got to get that in you. Amen. My God is bigger. No matter what comes against you, my God is bigger. Amen. And uh, you know what? Let's go to, let's go to, I'm just, Let's go to First Peter five seven. First Peter chapter five verse seven uh, six. Let's go six through eight. Okay. Amen. And we're going to use a King James. I'm using King James here, so I'm using the Word of God, and we preach from the Word of God. Amen. We don't get away from it. So First Peter chapter five verse six through eight, and it goes like this: "Is humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time." Amen. If you're doing what God's called you to do, you know, hey, he's going to promote you because you're being faithful. 
You know, the world is being faithful in the things of the world. But we need to be faithful in the things of God. Amen. So, and verse 7 says this. Casting all cares upon him because he cares for you. And you know, we're talking about victory in Jesus. Guess what? If you're going to if you're going to have victory in Jesus, know that troubles are going to come your way. Yes. He says, it came to me and it's going to come to you. Mm -hmm. So we already know this. In the last days, it's going to get worse oh, yeah. than before. So we know this. So we need to know that we can still have victory over the situation. But we got to be children of God and we got to be in the word of God. Yes, yes. So verse 7 says, casting all care upon him because uh -huh. he careth for you. Yes. He loves you. And verse 8 says this, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary the devil. That's your enemy. That's your only enemy. Your brother, your sister, your spouse, your 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 in-laws, your outlaws, all these are not your enemies. <laughs> the only enemy you have is the devil. And the Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. We're gonna we're gonna visit that scripture again here soon. But but Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So the more you spend time you spend with him, you know. The more you know that you're strong and be strong in him. Yes. And know that he wants you to have an abundant life. Yes. Not a defeated life. No. Amen. So it says be, be sober, be vigilant because you ever say the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Right. He's no respecter of persons. That's it. Amen. He just, he just wants to chew you and, 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 and destroy you. Steal, kill, yeah. destroy. That's yeah. all yeah. the enemy's about. Yeah. So let's know, let's remember this, amen. So we got to be more selective of the things you say because he says in uh, Proverbs eighteen twenty one, death and life yeah. are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the words you speak. Well, it's only words. Church, words are carriers of seed, yes. amen. And you're sowing seed, and see every seed you sow is going to grow. Is it going to grow good or is it going to grow bad? You make that choice. You know what? Just because it pops in your head don't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth. So you got to put a guard there and be more selective. You know, Jesus had opportunities to say things, but he held himself. And he spoke and said the right things. Yep. I mean, we got to speak faith-filled words. Uh -huh. Amen. And we got to sow these faith-filled uh, seeds. Amen. Yeah. So... Hallelujah. So that was the first scripture. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen to this. Let me see what I wrote here. Be victorious in him. You have a choice on a daily basis to be victorious in him or be defeated. Yeah. The problem is not with him. The problem is with us. Oh, yes. are, are, are you doing what he's told us to, told you to do? Are you confessing the word? Or are you, are you confessing the problem? Are you magnifying him? Or are you magnifying the problem. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's remember this. Victory in Jesus on a daily basis. Victory is mine. Man, that is a believer. Are you a believer? Are you a child of God? Have you accepted him? You're a believer. Yes. You're yes. born again. And that is a believer's marching song. Victory is mine. Amen. And praise him. Man, they sang this song this morning. And I'm just going to read you a few of the things that it says. And you might know the song, but that's okay. Sing it to yourself once in a while. Or sing it to our Lord. Our Lord, amen. But it goes like this. It says, Believers marching song. Daily marching song. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Before you hit the world, you know, before you go out the door, just say, hey, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Thank you for this beautiful day. I will rejoice and be glad in it. But victory is mine. It says, victory is mine. Victory today is mine. And I told Satan, get thee behind. Because victory today is mine. Them giants, them devils, they're going to be waiting on you. Amen. But you let them know and say, hey, I, I thank my God. I spend time with my God. And you devils have no power over me. It says, says, says I told Satan. That means submit yourself to God. Resist him. Take authority over him. And tell him where he needs to go. He can go back to hell. Or he can stay in hell. Yeah. Amen. But I told Satan, get thee behind. Yeah. You have authority. He's supposedly, he's God of this world, but still, 
you don't have he does not have authority Amen. over you unless you give it to him or unless you choose to be a defeated Christian and not speak the word of God that's, it. that's the worst place to be you are you you you're, you're a child of God a Christian a believer and you're not confessing the word and the enemy is just running all over you yep. amen it says victory is mine joy is mine the Bible says joy in the Lord is your strength yes amen and some of us need more joy you know because you got to give that frown a break you know yep. <laughs> if you was to <laughs> smile you might break your face off amen oh. <laughs> happiness oh. is mine yeah. victory is mine yeah. victory is mine victory yeah. today is mine right. Right. amen <laughs> he went to the cross and he gave us victory why are we still in defeat mm. amen we're confessing the wrong things, saying the wrong things, and walking the wrong walk. Amen. You're a child of God now. You're going to start walking in victory. Because victory belongs to you. Yes. Jesus paid for it. He paid for it all. And now it belongs to you. But you need to get this word in you. And you need to start confessing the word. Start living it. Start walking it. Amen. So let me yes. see how I wrote it here. It says, victory is mine daily. When I put my faith and trust in the Lord's instead of my own. Uh -huh. You know, once in a while, you know, we put him on the throne, and when things are going real good, then we take him off the throne and we put ourselves yeah. on the throne. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So mm -hmm. when the, you know, self starts taking care of himself, you know, <laughs> he's not going to violate your will because oh, we, we got our own free will. Yeah. Or we, we have to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he'll come yes. and we remove ourselves from the throne and put him back on the throne. Yes. Amen. Listen to this. It says, when I put when I put my faith and trust in the Lord instead of my own. It says, step out in faith, soldier of God, warrior of God. Step out in faith. We walk yeah, by yeah. faith and not by sight. Not by if sight. you're not walking in faith, you're walking in fear. Mm -hmm. And he's not giving us a spirit of That's fear. It. He's giving us a spirit of of love he's given us a spirit of faith to walk in faith as believers we're walking by faith and not by sight if you're walking just by sight guess what you're going to be fearful mm -hmm. but know that the greater one is with you yes. he never leaves you nor forsakes you yeah, listen you. to this it wasn't the giants in canaan land that defeated them right mm. amen it was the words they spoke yes. man we yes. walked and we saw giants yes. you can walk out of your door each and every day and see giants and you're defeated already. Yeah. Because you're confessing the giant. You're confessing the problem. Instead of knowing that greater is he that is in me. Greater. And he that is in the world. No matter what I see. No matter what comes my way. Yeah. Greater is he that is in me. And I'm going to speak the word over these things. Yeah. And I have victory yeah. over this thing. Amen. I have victory in Jesus. Each and every day. Regardless of how many giants are out there. And you know what? When they see me. They're going to run away. Amen. They're going to go. This wasn't the giants in Canaan land, the promised land, that kept the Israelis out. Right. But the fear in the words they spoke. Watch your words, watch your actions. Speak faithful words and step out in faith daily, mighty warrior of God. Amen. Amen. See yourself that way. Be a mighty warrior of God. Warrior, not warrior. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> He didn't call us to be warriors. He called us to be warriors. Warrior. Uh -huh. Mighty warrior. Man, you got to write that in bold letters or put it somewhere. I'm a mighty warrior of yes. God. Amen. That's the way he sees you. So you see yourself. He sees you a mighty champion of God. Amen. And he wants to use you, mighty warrior. Amen. So let's remember this. <laughs> a word from God is all you will ever need to be victorious. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, he tells us, and all we need to do is be obedient and do it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Doesn't matter what, listen to this, doesn't matter what the circumstances, That's the it. situation, the conditions. Yeah. Oh, man, it's cold outside. Oh, man, it's storming outside. It doesn't yeah. matter the conditions or what sickness is coming yeah. against you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. This is by Jesus stripes you're healed. You're healed. So you may whatever, confess mm -hmm. the word, quit confessing the problem, mm -hmm. and quit listening to the report of the doctor or the report of mm -hmm. so and so. I say, wait a minute, this is yes. what the word of God tells me. I'm gonna focus and pay attention and confess yes. what the report of the Lord, what the yes. word of God says. Yes. This is the report that I'm gonna listen. This yes. is the report I'm going to confess. Yes. Amen. Yes. So 
no matter what the circumstances, situations, conditions, or the sickness looks like, doesn't matter what the odds look like. That's right. That's if God right. be for us, who can who be against us? Who can be against God is yeah. on my side. <laughs> I know whose I am, and I know who's backing me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to step out in Amen. faith Amen. and not fear. Yes. If, if you don't have Christ, you're going to be fearful. Mm -hmm. If you're not confessing the word, you're going to be fearful. Because mm -hmm. you see, remember the Israeli saw giants, and man, they were fearful. Oh, yeah. The 12 spies, 10, came back with a negative report. Negative report. Two came back with a positive report. Said, man, we can go take them yeah. right now. Are you crazy? Do you know how big these guys are? You know how these guys are giants. We nothing but grasshoppers. Quit seeing yourself a grasshopper. Amen. See yourself the way God sees you. Amen. A mighty warrior, a champion, a winner. Amen. An overcomer. Praise God. <laughs> Jesus' ability. Listen, Jesus' ability is not affected by our circumstances. Amen. So, quit putting limits on him. Yes. You know, we do that in this world. We yes. put limits on things. We put limits on ourselves. Quit limiting God. Yes. Yeah? Know that. Amen. There's no limits in him. Because of what Jesus has already done for us. Yes. Victory is mine. Victory is yours. Mm -hmm. Amen. You don't have to. Uh, well, I want to say this. Denominations are not from God. Denominations are man-made, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. And some denominations will say, well, you got to do the, all these steps before you can be a member of our church. Mm -hmm. That don't need, that don't, that don't, that don't count. Nope. Remember the robber at the cross? Mm -hmm. He confessed Jesus mm -hmm. and acknowledged Jesus. And Jesus says, today you'll be with me yes. in paradise. Yeah. So you know what? We can all be down. But Jesus says, get up. Yes. And get up, and, and, and he says, press on. Yeah. Amen. He can send the lost of the world into this place. Uh -huh. Amen. And we're not going to turn him down because yes, Jesus yes. didn't. He went to the cross. He says, for God so loved the world. The world. Amen. It. He sent his only begotten son, sacrificed yes. his son for yes. the world, not just for certain denominations. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So let's, 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 let's remember this. Let's not put limits on God or say things like this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we don't... <laughs> Well, I get off of that. <laughs> Says Jesus has already done it all for us. Yes, so yes. we have victory in him. Say this with me. Victory. victory. I have victory in Jesus daily. Jesus. There you go. Amen. Okay. Deuteronomy. You can write these down. You can go visit them later on that. But Deuteronomy uh, 20 and verse 4 says this in the King James. Mm -hmm. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Amen. Yes. Man, write these down so you can go yes. and, and don't be lost. And in the NIV, the New Living International Version says this. It says, for God, for the Lord your God is one that goes with you uh -huh. to fight for you against your enemies yeah. to give you victory. Yes. yes. Amen. What Jesus did gave us victory. But you know, we have to maintain. We, 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 have, we have to walk the walk and talk the talk and uh -huh, confess uh -huh. the word, amen, amen, to have victory over these things, amen? Yes. Yes, God. Thank First you. Corinthians 5, 15, excuse me, First Corinthians uh, chapter 15, verses uh, 57, 58, New King James says this, But thanks be to God who giveth us victory through yes. our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, uh -huh. 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, Always abounding in the work of the Lord, yes. knowing that your labor is not in vain That's in the Lord. It says, step out in faith and press on, child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's it. The easy to read version. I'll read it to you from the easy to read version. You can't, you can't, you can't. You can't misunderstand. Can't misunderstand this. First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 57, 58. Easy to read version says, But we thank God who gives us victory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. 58 says, So dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Yes. How am I going to stand strong? I'm going to stand strong in Him. Yes. You know, the more you study the Word, mm -hmm. the more you mature in the Word, mm -hmm. That's right. the stronger your faith yes. roots are going to grow. Yes. Yes. Your faith roots are going to go deep. And then you're going to have a solid foundation in Him. You know, when you have a solid foundation, 
nothing can shake you. And I want to stand strong in Him. Who are you standing on? I'm standing in with Him. Amen. I'm standing for Him. It says, stand strong. Don't let anything change you. Uh -huh. But the enemy is going to send distractions your way each and every day. Right. Uh -huh. Each and every day, things are coming your way. Things you see, things you hear. Yeah. <laughs> Do not, don't let anything change you. Do not change. It says, always give yourself full, fully to the work of the Lord. Right. <coughs> that means commit yourself, surrender yourself completely to yes. Him. Yes. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. Yes. You know that your work is in the Lord is never wasted. Amen. Your work in Him is never wasted That's time. It. Amen. It. We can waste a lot of time doing things for the world. But we never waste our time spending time with That's Him. It. That's Amen. It. Let's, 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 let's remember this. Amen. And any time you spend time with Him, mm -hmm. your faith roots are going to grow deeper yes. and yes. deeper. Amen. Amen. If you don't have faith roots, the world will change you. Oh, yeah. Amen. If you don't have a relationship, mm -hmm. if you don't have a relationship, then faith roots are not growing. Mm -hmm. Amen. And any wind of doctrine, any wind mm -hmm. in the world, any changes in the world, yes. it's just going to come and you're going to hear, did you hear about this? Mm -hmm. And you're just going to flow yes. with the wind oh, each and every way. Man, yeah. you're going to just forget about mm. the Lord. Because the world yeah. is going to have his way. The enemy yeah. is going to have his way. Yeah. Romans 8, 37, New King James says, Yet in all these things, mm -hmm. we are more, more than conquerors, conquerors. More through than him God. who loved us. <clears throat> the Amplified says this, Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors and gain an overwhelming victory mm -hmm. through him who loved us so much that he died for us. Overwhelming. Yes. Amen. Overwhelming. Thank you, Lord. Man, this is this is this is awesome. Yes, it is. But you know, when you when you study the word and you get the word in you, mm -hmm. man, it just releases you. Mm -hmm. It says, man, I can do all things through Christ. Yes. Yeah. You know? All the mindsets are gone. All the mindsets are, are being gone. You know, the, the fears are leaving. Mm -hmm. They got to go. If you're not feeding your faith. You're feeding your fears. Mm -hmm. And you can be strong on either yes. one. Yeah. yeah. Amen. <laughs> you can be strong in either one. Yes. Romans 8.31 says, New King James says, mm -hmm. What then shall we say of these things? If mm -hmm. Jesus is for us, mm -hmm. who could be against yeah. us? That's it. Amen. So we need to know. If God yeah. is for us, forget. Yes. Who cares what's against us? We're, we're serving him. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And Roman, uh, John 8.32 says this, <coughs> You shall know the truth, and the truth shall yeah, set you free. free. The Amplified free. says truth is capitalized. Mm -hmm. You shall know the truth, the word of God, the things of God. I and agree. it will set you free from all mindsets, from all the yes. things of the world. Yes. Amen. We got to walk the walk and talk the talk, church. There ain't no other way. That's it. Amen. We can just be lazy. We can be easy mm. and comfy because that's what the flesh is. You know, yeah. they just want to, it just wants to be nice yeah. and easy and comfy. Mm -hmm. But it says you're a tri, tri being, mm -hmm. spirit, soul, and body. and body. The spirit, you feed the word of God. Your your, your soul, mind, will, and emotions, you, you renew on uh -huh. a daily basis with the word of God. Not on a daily basis, but as often as needed. Mm -hmm. Renew it with the word of God. Say, wait a minute. That don't drive. That, that don't make sense. Mm. I'm not standing on that. I'm renewing my mind right now. Yes. I'm renewing right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Lord. First John 5, 4 and 5 says this. For whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our, our faith. faith. Yes. Who is he who overcomes the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Yes. Amen. You stand on the word and nothing can shake you. When you make this stand, you stand. <laughs> Nothing's going to shake you. God is with me. Who could be against me? Amen. <laughs> the Amplified goes like this. It says, For everyone born of God is victorious and overcometh the world. For this is the victory that has conquered and overcome the world. Yes. Our continuing, persistent faith yes. in Jesus, the Son of God. Amen. Who is the one who is victorious and overcomes the world. It is the one 
who believes and recognizes the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. Yes. Amen. There is no other way. You know? Know this. <laughs> There's only one way to the Father. He is the only way. Yes. Amen. There's no other way. He says in uh, John 14, 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's Nobody right. comes to the Father except through me. That's so that's what we're teaching, and that's the truth. And it's going to set you free. Amen. Amen. If you think you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. For you have victory in Jesus. Amen. Learn to stand in victory. Learn to fight the good fight of faith and put on the whole armor yes. of God. I'm not going to read you this whole thing, but I'm going to give you the scripture mm -hmm. in Ephesians. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 18 mm -hmm. it tells you to put on the whole army yeah. child of God soldier of God yeah. if you're a soldier of God guess what you need, a, you need an armor you need a, a, a uniform yeah. Yeah. and you put on the whole the says whole the whole armor, armor of God yeah. not just part of it and it goes something like this New King James finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and the power of his might it says put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. Amen. It tells us what we're fighting. Mm -hmm. We're not fighting flesh and blood. That's it. Amen. It says for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but we mm -hmm. against but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts uh, of uh, wickedness in heavenly places. Yes. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to uh, withstand in the evil day and haven't done all to stand mm -hmm. again stand yes amen the next few scriptures is going to talk to you about what you put on yeah what the whole armor of god is all about yes amen and the whole armor of god is protects the front yeah yep and the soldier of god you're marching forward yes there ain't no protection in the back so don't cower don't cower down and run and turn around and run because your back is exposed yes <laughs> But everything is forward. Amen. We're pressing on. We're pressing on. He says, press on. So we're going to press on. We're not going to Amen. turn around and go back. We're going to press on yes. with the things of God. Amen. So you. put on the whole oh. armor of God because Amen. we're fighting against enemy. Okay. Yes. We're fighting a spiritual battle on a daily yes. basis. Yes. Spiritual battle means that if you're fighting it, if you want to fight it in the flesh, you're defeated already. Yeah. Yeah. It's a oh, spiritual right. battle and yes, you need the word of God. Yeah. And listen, we're fighting a defeated foe. Uh -huh. You're fighting a defeated enemy. He's defeated. He's just so ignorant he forgets. But you gotta remind him. You're a oh, defeated yeah. foe. You gotta remind him, get under your feet. You gotta remind him, get behind you. Yes. You gotta remind him to get out of your way. That's it. Amen. Greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world. And I'm taking authority over you. Amen. Yes. Taking authority in Jesus' name. Amen. You cannot be a victorious Christian and not take authority. That's it. That's you got it. to take authority. Amen. Yeah. You have to. We, a lot of us are trained to we'll, we'll go to Jesus. Jesus, you got to take the devil away from me. Uh, he says, I've already done what I need yeah. to do. Now That's you've it. got to do your part. Amen. And your, he's given you authority. Now you start using it. That's it. That's Amen. Right. I don't mean this in a bad way, but If you're a policeman no. and you take the oath and you put on a badge and you put on a uniform, now they're going to protect you as you go out and do what you're supposed to be doing as a policeman. Okay? As a child of God, we go and do what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. And yes. we need to take that authority. I've yes. confessed him as my Lord and Savior. Now I'm going to go and do what he wants me to do. Uh -huh. Amen? And uh, I've said this many times. I'll say it as best I can but you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will be around in. That's it. That's it. And I cannot be where you go. You have your own little area that you go shop where you go live at That's okay it. and that you go to and you all that area right there is for you to be Christ like. Yeah. yeah. Amen. And share Christ with them. Amen. So, we have, every one of us can do this. Yes. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens all us. Things. Amen. So, don't let the enemy, don't let the world say, you can't do it. If you start walking in fear, you know what? All these frights, all these fears are going to come on you and say, I can't do mm -hmm. it. Amen. A lot, a lot of Bible heroes got called. Yes. 
Yeah. Wanted to power it down and do nothing about it, you know. Again, fear is not. Fear not, church. If you feel the cares, the worries, the defeats, the help, uh, hopelessness, uh, falsely accused, feeling that the world is at the end. Remember, <laughs> and in these last days, we're in the last days. Just know it's going to get worse before it gets better. So what am I going to do? I need to stand strong in the word of God. And know that I need to renew my mind often. Because the world is going to bombard you with negative things. And this is happening. This is happening. You know. 2 Timothy <coughs> excuse me, 7 says. For God not given us a spirit of fear. But a power of love and of a sound mind. So know that Jesus power. Excuse me. Jesus paid the full price. And he is your sure victory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says that you can do some things. All things. <laughs> the Bible says in, in, in uh, Philippians 4, 13, says you can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens you. Amen. And I'm going to read this one more time. We read it a few minutes ago. It was uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 15, 7, uh, 57 through uh, 58 says, But we thank God who's given us a victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Don't let anything change you. Uh, always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. You know that your work in the Lord is never wasted. Amen. Amen. So know that you victory is mine. Amen. Know that victory belongs to you. Yes. Victory belongs to you. Nobody can take it away unless you just give it away. Right. That's it. Victory is mine, love is mine, peace is mine, happiness is mine, prosperity is mine. Yes. Every promise in the Bible is yours. Yes. According to the word of God. Amen. Amen. So we need to know this. God cannot lie. If he said it, he'll do it, and you yes. can count on it. Amen. Amen. So <laughs> remind yourselves that victory is yours each and every day. Victory in Jesus every day. Yes. Not just once in a while say, well, maybe the Lord forgot. He didn't forget. Oh, no. He sacrificed his son. Yes, Jesus went to the cross and gave his life and he yes. rose. And he, listen, he went, he rose to heaven. And his, the Bible says he's seated at the right hand of God, yes. interceding for us. Interceding. So he's not just doing nothing. He's praying for us, yes. interceding for us. Amen. Now yes. we need to do our part. Yes. His part is complete. Yes. Our part is still going on. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Our part is going on. So say victory is mine. Amen. Yes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We're not fighting for victory. We are fighting <coughs> from victory. Amen. Because of what Jesus has already done for right. us. We have victory in Jesus each and every day. Amen. So we need to fight this good fight of yes. faith. Uh -huh. You know, Amen. when you fight this good fight of faith, when you get to heaven, he's going to say, welcome, faithful. Well done. Well, well, done. Done. Yeah. well, he says, welcome. Yeah. He says, well done, good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows you. Yes. Amen. He Praise knows you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord. We all have a choice to make each and every day to trust in Jesus and to live victorious or to trust the flesh and be defeated. Mm -hmm. But the choice is yours. Yes, yes, it is. Amen. The choice is yours. He's given us a free will. Yes. And you have to make a choice. Do I live victorious in Jesus daily or do I live defeated daily amen that's up to you if you if you if you want to be a God pleaser you do what he's called us to do mm -hmm. and be victorious in him da uh, yeah. daily or if you just want to please the world mm -hmm. you can do that and be defeated <coughs> amen but I'm not going to let the world I'm not going to let people yes Stop me from fulfilling what God has called yes. you to do. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Absolutely. He's called you to do great things. But don't allow the world or people or mm -hmm. circumstances yeah. dictate. You're going to fall short. And if you start listening yes. to your, your mind, you start listening to the world. Yeah, and say, Lord. you're not good enough. You're not qualified. Well, guess what? God has already qualified you. Yes, he has. So if God has qualified you, forget about what the world says. Yes. Amen. That's it. Perfect. Amen. Again, John 10, 10, we'll, we'll just go over this and, uh, and we'll have to finish next week. But it says, John 10, 10, a thief. I got a few names for the thief. Thief here. The thief is a robber. 
a burglar, a shoplifter, a pocket pick, a, po a pickpocket, a bandit, a crook, Lucifer, a devil, Satan, enemy, evil one, accuser, deceiver, a fallen angel, a fallen star, father of lies, an anointed sure does not come except to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't you get all his names? <laughs> He was an anointed servant. Yes, he was. But not no more. Not no more. <laughs> says, I have come, Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus came so that we could have his best, his abundant reigning on us each yes. and every day. Every day. But we need to live victorious mm -hmm. in him daily. Yes, amen. Live victorious in Jesus yes. daily. Amen. And confess his word, do his word. Walk to walk and talk to talk. Mm -hmm. Amen. We just can't once in a while hit and miss. Remember, part-time believer is no match to a full-time devil. Mm -hmm. He knows the word, but he chose not to mm -hmm. do the word. He chose to put himself above God, yeah. over God, and he was what's the word? He was kicked out of heaven quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Just like lightning. Like lightning. And he was shot out for quick. So yes. him and a third of his angels yeah. that went with him. Yeah. <laughs> so get on the right oh, side. Gosh. If you get on the right side, you'll be on the winning side. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So be on God's winning side. We're going to stop there and we're going to pick up where the devil came and tempted Jesus. Mm. If he tempted Jesus, guess what he's going to do to you? Yeah. He's going to try the same old tricks again. Yeah. But don't fall for those old tricks. But listen, the Bible says this. He knew he was, the devil knew he was whipped, but it didn't stop him. He still uses the same old tricks on God's children. If we allow him, and listen, this is one of the things he says. He is persistent. Okay? He is determined. He's stubborn. He's tireless. Oh, he's yeah. untiring. Huh. And you'll keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. Relax. You just got to be strong Relax. in him and <laughs> let the word, confess the word, amen, and be said to be strong, be strong, stand, stand, stand strong in him and remind him that you have victory in Jesus. Amen. Yeah, praise amen. God. Did you get something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise, praise God. God. Thank you, Father. Father. Those of you watching, listening, know that Jesus loves you, you know. And you've been running too long. And it's time to come home. Yeah. And you can have victory in Jesus on a daily basis too, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be defeated. You don't have to be down and out. That's All you it. need to do is confess him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. And say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know from this day on, start living for him. And you know Amen. that you can have victory from this day on if you only acknowledge him and receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Start living for Him and have victory in Him daily. Amen. 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 Praise God. You have sickness in your body. By His Jesus Christ, you're healed. Mm -hmm. So start confessing His Word. Regardless of what the world says, the doctor says, or what your body's saying, body line up with the Word of God. All these malfunctions, I stop them now in Jesus' name. Every part of me, every organ, everything in my body functions. To the perfection yes. God created it to function. Amen. So I'm receiving my healing right now yes. according to the word of God in Jesus' name. So be healed. Amen. By Jesus Christ, you're healed. So call yourself well and call yourself healed in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. And start keep confessing the word of God and not the problem. Amen. So body, receive your healing in Jesus' name. Praise God. So it's time to give. <laughs> you can go to our website, Big Ben, NBCBigBen.com. <coughs> Hit that donate button, and uh, if you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marker, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. So uh, yeah. God loves you, we love you, and be blessed. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Have victory in Jesus each and every day.